For the children, being in hospital is very disempowering. You're very vulnerable. You don't have control over anything. The noises that they hear are bleeping, buzzing, alarms. What the Wishing Well project has done is to change the soundscape here completely. Rhys was admitted to hospital at two weeks old um, because he stopped breathing. Um, he's got um, digorges, which means that his airways close down. Um, so he's got a tracheostomy and is attached to a ventilator to help him with his breathing. To see him actually performing with the musicians, um, tracheostomy children don't always have um, the ability to make sound, but he does, and he's, he's just started singing um, with the musicians as well and copying, so it's just absolutely amazing. We visit children's bedsides and work with them interactively. We do work uh, with an aim to really kind of create more human connection and also to kind of nurture and soothe and distract and give, give fun. Some of the children here are too young to communicate with words. Some of them have impairments that stop them being able to use speech. Some of them are too ill or too frightened to want to use words. So it's really important in terms of communication for them. Being able to use music in a very individual way, in the way that they do, means that they are providing a therapy which we as doctors and nurses, pretty impossible for us to do that, I think. Just to know that you're coming into the hospital and there's going to be something that you can do as a family, um, that your children are going to be happy and they can just forget the pain for you know even half an hour, um, it's just really important.